In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I want to tell you just a little bit from the life of Father Agathon, who was an Egyptian monk, from this book. I'll tell you the most important thing first, because people listen only to the beginning of a video generally. He was a great father, monastic father, and he lived in seclusion much, much of the time and lived as a hermit, and that's the way he liked to live. While well, he was in the city, let me read it to you so I get it correct here. So there's a sayings of, of Abba Agathon from the Desert Fathers collection. I advise that you get it. It's fantastic to read. And this is number 27. It was said of him that coming into town one day to sell his wares, he encountered a sick traveler laying in a public place without anyone to look after him. The old man rented a cell and lived with him there, working with his hands to pay the rent and spending the rest of his money on the sick man's needs. He stayed there four months until the sick man was restored to health. Then he returned in peace to his cell. This is a man who preferred to live out in the wilderness in contemplation of God. And when he went to the city, there was a man who needed help. And out of Christian love, he completely changed his lifestyle for four months to help this man who probably couldn't give a, a thing back to him. That is Christian love. That's pretty amazing. And that's a good, that's why I read these lives of the saints, because stuff like that comes out at me. And, and I think, would I have done such a thing? Would I have changed my life around for four months to take care of a virtual stranger? That's really enough about Ag Agathon right there that you need to know. How great a saint he was because of his great love for his fellow man. It's a friend of mine who has this ministry and uh, it's called manual labor and one of Paul's uh, sayings about ministry is love the one in front of you. So that's what Abba Agathon did. He loved the one in front of him. That's what we should be doing too. May God bless you. May God help you in all things.